What's up, internet? Welcome back to another top five video. This week's top five is suggested by MUS247365. He wants to know what my top five favorite items that I own are. I'm going to take this as not just video game related. Um, I'm going to take this as like nerd related, geek related, whatever. So let's get to it. I'm actually going to have to move about the room a little bit on this one. My number five would be this Soundwave poster. I've had this for probably 10 years. And Soundwave is one of my favorite characters. He's definitely my favorite Transformer of all time. Uh, absolutely love the design. I think that the comic books that they were coming out with in the mid-2000s, I believe, were some of the coolest Transformers comics ever. Um, just the design is amazing, and honestly, of all the posters in my room, if this one ever got destroyed or got to the point where I needed a new one, I'd actually look for another one, just because I, I love this thing so much. It's awesome. Number four. <laughs> I'm actually just moving about my room looking at posters here. My Pokemon release, I guess, poster board that we got from KB Toy Works back in the day. I was able to get this because my mom worked for KB Toy Works back when Pokemon came out. And I've honestly, I've never seen anybody else with this poster. I don't know if it's worth anything, but it's never going to leave my possession. I wish it were in a little bit better condition, but honestly, it's definitely one of my favorite things. Number three, and that would be my three Robs. Um, I wish I had more. I am definitely trying to find more. I don't care if they work. Uh, these, as far as I know, are all broken, and that's 100% fine with me. I think this is one of the coolest video game peripherals, I guess you'd call it. Uh, video game accessories. I don't know. Uh, Rob single-handedly probably saved video games for us. Uh, but that's a story for another day. So, number three is definitely Rob, and I hope to one day have an entire army. Number two, and this is actually a one-of-a-kind item as far as I know. Um, this is a custom Game Boy Advance SP that I got from my friend Ted in a trade uh, probably about a year and a half ago. And it looks like just the classic Game Boy Advance SP when you look at it this way. But, if you can tell, uh, it's a little bit, bit of a Frankenstein's monster Game Boy Advance SP because he took the parts from a NES Classic Game Boy Advance SP and switched them around with one of the, I believe it's Japanese only pink ones. I don't know, he'd, he'd definitely be able to talk better on what uh, what parts this is made out of, but I just think this is the coolest thing. Um, it's in really great condition. My only gripe is that it's not a 101 model, but I couldn't be happier with this. Honestly, I use this instead of the 101 model that I have whenever I need to play a Game Boy Advance game, just because I think this is so cool. And number one, this is actually the thing that I would probably run into the house or grab on the way out if my house was burning down <laughs> it's gonna sound pathetic and that's that's assuming that all the living creatures like my cats and my mom <laughs> were out of the house already um, I would save my Pikachu 3DS this is pretty expensive now um, the story of how I got this was pretty cool I wasn't planning on getting it it was just one of those like things that I did on a whim. I decided to, before work one day, hit a whole bunch of Targets. But this was released back when Target had 3DS XLs on sale for like $150 or $140. Um, and I was trying to just kind of snipe one. See, like, like if I came across it, I was going to pick it up because I already saw what they were going for at the time. I think they were going for well over $200. Um, and... On the very last target, right before I got to work, I found two of them. So I ended up picking them up. Uh, I got this because I picked up two and I sold one on eBay. I pretty much 
paid almost nothing for this. This was basically free. And I think it's the coolest special edition 3DS XL they've come out with yet. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite video game or nerd related items are you have. And please also comment below with other top five ideas that you would like to see me do. And as always, keep it real internet.